My most anticipated video of the year. My entire designer bag collection of 2022. everyone, Steph here. My entire designer bag collection then. So that you can shop this video super easily and what I am wearing today, I will link everything in the description box for you. For bags that you can no longer buy, I will link to some work pre-love. And make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to be revealing my most used, my least used and my most favourite designer bag out of my entire collection. Let's dive straight in with bag number one then. I'm going to do this by brand and we have 30 nine yes 39 bags to go through so make sure you've got a drink i'm going to be giving a brief overview of each bag in my collection like i said at the end my most used least used and most favorite bag first up then we are going to start with prada this is one of my more recent purchases and this is the prada crystal shopper tote bag with silver crystals and this is a black satin bag it also comes with a detachable crossbody slash shoulder strap and honestly I use this bag way more than I thought I actually would do. I think it is such a beautiful little bag. There is a bit of a backstory to it, I'm not going to go into too much detail but I bought this because it was at a great price before the last price increase from Prada and I also had a discount code so I kind of bought it on a whim thinking that I would actually return it. Then it showed up and there was no way I was sending this bag back. And this for me, even though I thought it probably was more of an evening bag, I've actually worn it more in the day. If you're wearing something quite simple, it definitely just adds that extra wow factor. Now, speaking of all things that sparkle, we have just had a delivery from one of my favorite jewelry brands in Dill. Let's take a look at what we've got. Look how beautiful the packaging is. If you're wanting to treat yourself or a loved one, this is what it will look like. Oh, I always get excited for new Idil pieces. What do we have in here? We have a beautiful like wooden tray, amazing. I can keep all my earrings in here. Now for the best bit, the diamonds and the gold. Can't wait to see this on you. Oh wow, look how beautiful these are. We have some earrings and necklaces which we'll try on now, they look amazing. And here are my earrings, very neatly organized in the tray with the Liv on the left, the Lucia, the Coco and the Spark Cuff. Let's try them on, but the, one of the best things about Idil Jewelry is that it's actually modular. So once you have your base, such as your stud, you can buy different add-ons, which completely changes the look of the piece of jewelry. So I just had the cocoa on here, and then we can attach this to the spark cuff for, again, a totally different look. These diamonds and the gold, the way it glitters is incredible. To demonstrate how versatile and modular these pieces are, we've got the live here, the cluster of diamonds. If we take the stud out of it, we can wear the stud by itself, or we can add another attachment. So here I have added my Lucia attachment for a completely different look. This makes these pieces such great value for money. And the same thing for the necklaces, the Ada, Layla and Lena here. You can use the chain as the base and then you can change out what you want to wear on the chain. How amazing. And if you want to double up, just order another chain and you can stack these pieces. Wow, Idil Jewelry never fails to impress me. They are the most beautiful pieces. They all feature sustainable lab-grown diamonds, which also means they are a much more accessible price point than mined diamonds, and they are set in solid gold. So that means you can wear them all the time. You don't need to take your jewelry off. They are going to tarnish. You can even wear them in the shower. I will pop a link down below in the description box for you so you can head over to the Adil website and check out all the special offers that they currently have on and make sure you sign up to their newsletter as well. That means when they do run a sale or discounts or release some beautiful new pieces, you're gonna know about it. Idil is one of my favorite jewelry brands and I would like to say a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Okay, on to bag number two. We're gonna stick with Prada for now. So this is my Prada Cahia bag and this is very much a kind of Marmite bag. Either you love it or you hate it. Personally, 
I love it. So this is the lion knocker version of the bag. So it has this lion on here. This really reminds me, oh, I don't know if you've seen it, the film Labyrinth. I've said this before. Now this bag is not for everyone. You know, it's not super practical. It is quite heavy. Now mine is in a wine red with the gold and the black leather on here. And you can wear it as a shoulder bag like this, or you can cross body the Kahia bag. But I have said this before, in an ideal world, I would have the all black version of this bag. Um, this is coming out quite a bright red from what I can see in my viewfinder. In real life, it's actually quite a dark like wine red, but the lights are shining so bright on it, it is making it look brighter than what it is. But I am still looking for an all black version of this bag. My third and final Prada bag currently in my collection then is my Prada double bag. I have debated selling this um, because I actually would like to get the new mini size of this bag. I recently saw them in London and they are absolutely beautiful but I still haven't managed to part with this one yet. Maybe I will do a vlog sale soon but I do still really like this one. This is the small size and this is in cameo pink and the Saffiano leather which is like a grained leather so it doesn't scratch easily i really like this bag because you do get like two great big compartments one in the middle and then you also get a detachable crossbody shoulder strap if you are looking for a work bag that you know it's not too in your face you've just got the small prada logo on there this one could be a great one personally though i think i'm going to get the new mini size because it's so cute since the festive season is coming up we're now going to move on to stella mccartney i only have one bag from Stella McCartney currently and I recently unboxed it here on this YouTube channel and she is beautiful. This is the Crystal Mesh Tiny Falabella bag. How beautiful is she? I can see her in the viewfinder. She is everything, my friends. I tried this one on in silver, which was also really beautiful if silver is more your hardware preference. Um, but for me, the gold was an absolute no-brainer. So you can use it with the top handles like this you could wear it on the crook of your arm and leave this dangling or you can throw her on the shoulder like so or even crossbody her she is so versatile okay oh my gosh how beautiful is this bag um, a really great price point as well from Stella McCartney versus other brands now let's move on to Givenchy I currently have two Givenchy bags in my collection the first one is my infinity bucket bag which I never wear, but I really like the look of this, so I still haven't managed, again, to sell it. It's kind of like the Prada double bag. But this is the most luxurious black leather tote bag. We have these gorgeous silver chains running down the side. It just has a really big, thick strap, so you can wear it on your shoulder like so. And because of the chains, um, this is padded right now, so it's probably heavier than it's meant to be, but it is quite a heavy bag. There is no option to crossbody the bag. You literally have to wear it like this, or you could wear it on the crook of your arm. But I will say, because this strap is so thick here, it doesn't really fit in the crook of the arm very well. Like, this is quite uncomfortable. So this is how you would wear this bag. I don't know whether I do finally need to part with it because I don't really use it, but I just think it looks so edgy. The next Givenchy bag in my collection is my Soft Antigona. Um, I rave about this bag all the time. If you are a subscriber here on my channel, you will already know this. This is in the small size, uh, smooth black leather with silver hardware. Oh, okay, so I have had a Givenchy Antigona in my collection basically since the start of time, um, the original kind of more structured bag. Then when the Soft Antigone was brought out, I knew I wanted to add one to my collection and I think they look so chic to the point I've actually got rid of my more structured versions of the bag. Just because I like this one, you see a lot less of them around. And because the leather is kind of cinched in on the side, I don't know, like the way the light reflects on this bag, I think is beautiful. The next bag has become a recent obsession, very recent actually. This is the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. Um, I have three here, I'm gonna show you them all at the same time. This is the Micro Shearling in the grey. Oh, I love this, it is adorable. This is like a brand new size that came out a few weeks ago. This also comes in different colours. Thing that I like most about this is you have like the tote on the front but it's not too big. Then I have the mini size here in like a really neutral colourway. These bags are so great because they all have zippers across the top for the secure closure. Removable, crossbody, shoulder strap. And then here I have an acid green one in the small 
size. I have done a full comparison of the sizes here on my YouTube channel if you want to check those out. But yes, a recent obsession. I went from having zero of these bags to having three very quickly and I have no regrets. Now let's move on to one of my favourite brands right now and my collection of this brand has definitely expanded a lot over the last year. This is Saint Laurent. The first Saint Laurent bag that I have is this wallet on chain style bag. I don't know the exact name. It's kind of a bit like the cake bag. We have gold hardware on here. It is in this beautiful black crushed velvet. And this was my first ever designer evening bag. I don't really use this bag so much anymore because I use my sunset, which I will show you in a second a lot more now. But there's a part of me, it's kind of the nostalgia, the fact that this was one of my first ever designer evening bags and I loved it so, so much. And I still think it's a really great bag. You can tuck the chain in here. So if you don't want to use it as like a shoulder bag, you can also use it as just a simple clutch bag like so. Haven't been able to part with this one yet, even though I don't actually use it that much, but it is a staple, it is a classic, and that's what I love so much about Saint Laurent. This brings me on nicely to the Sunset bag. So this is the bag that I now use a lot more than my like wallet on chain version. This is in the medium size in the smooth black leather with gold hardware. The reason that I use this bag more is it's just a bigger bag, which I really, really love. It even has a pocket on the back, which is great to put your mobile phone if you just want to quickly be able to grab it. Super easy to open with the proper closure. And then we have loads of compartments here inside of the bag. Now, this bag never fails. When I've planned an outfit, but maybe I haven't thought about the bag and then I'm in a rush to get out the house because I'm going to be late. This is the bag that I grab every time. It goes with everything, cannot recommend this bag enough. If you are looking for a staple, you don't want an out of control collection, but an evening bag, she can go from day to night. You can wear this bag in the day. We can change the straps up. We can go cross body if we need to. It's just so versatile. You can't go wrong with the sunset bag. When this bag is in the background of any of my videos, honestly, the amount of comments I get about it is ridiculous. This is the Saint Laurent Cassandri tote bag. You can no longer buy this tote bag anymore. So again, I will link down below so that you can shop this pre-loved because there are some on the pre-loved market and definitely at fantastic prices. Mine is in a kind of dark gray with the gold hardware. It is in a smooth type leather and it's just great for throwing on your shoulder. I would say this definitely like this tote bag has more classic kind of vibes, more elegant. It's a bit more dressy than some of my other tote bags. Now, again, I don't really use this bag that much because it is quite a large bag and it is quite heavy, okay? But it is fantastic, especially as maybe like a work bag. A similar layout to the Prada double bag. You have two compartments and then a big zipper compartment in the middle here. If you like the look of this bag, honestly, pick one up pre-loved, make a really good saving compared to Saint Laurent's current recommended retail prices, a great tote bag. Next up, you might have spotted these here already. This is the YSL Small Lulu bag. I like this bag so much, I currently have two in my collection. This is the Cinnamon Suede with gold hardware. And this is the Vintage Blanc. So this is a white, like a, a white with a gray undertone with the aged gold hardware. Now, if you watch my recent unboxing video of this bag, um, I did say this flap on this bag here is incredibly wrinkly for some reason. And um, so that is why I haven't taken the packaging off yet. And I guess it's kind of in my collection at the moment, but I'm actually not too sure if it's going to stay. I might just go to another brand instead because I do already have this bag. The Lulu for me is definitely more casual than the Sunset. So I wear mine way more in the daytime. You can just throw it on the shoulder like so. Or again, like what you can do with the Sunset, you can change the straps like this, pull it through really easily and wear it as a crossbody bag. I am five foot six for reference. You cannot adjust this chain here. So it depends how you like your bag to sit and how tall you are. Uh, but for me, I do really like this. I actually mostly wear it as a shoulder bag, but I really like the option to crossbody it, especially when I'm out and about. Ooh, let's not forget about this bad boy. I got this uh, this summer. This is the Ring Gouge tote bag. 
from YSL. Uh, this is in the colour Sea Salt. This sold out really quickly. I believe it still might be sold out now. Um, this is a very popular one uh, when it comes to summer. And honestly, the colour of this bag is so, so beautiful. It is the most like gorgeous neutral. And the thing that I most like about this tote bag, we've got some nice big handles so we can wear it on the shoulder like this. But actually, is the fact that it has a popper closure. So you can see the three poppers across here. You can, I've got a liner in here to protect it, highly recommend, but you can just pop the popper shut like that so that if your bag does tip over or fall over, um, your stuff isn't just going to go flying out everywhere, which you don't actually see on a lot of tote bags. So I highly recommend this one. Um, I took this with me to Dubai. I've used it as a travel bag um, at the airport and I also used it around the pool for all my things like sun cream, uh, my swim stuff, uh, a beach towel. And you can get this in a slightly larger size if you prefer larger size tote bags. But the small size for me has been working perfectly. And the final YSL bag in my collection that you might have spotted up here because she is a big girl. This is the Ecar Maxi Shopper tote bag in black lambskin leather with aged gold hardware. This bag is very much a Marmite kind of bag. Again, either you like it or you hate it. I do think it's quite a chic bag. I recently unboxed it here on my YouTube channel. And the one thing that I do really like about this bag, to say it's so large, is that it's really lightweight. I do have a few concerns about how this is going to wear and tear because the leather is so soft, the bag just crushes. And so I do think this is one that needs to be stored really well to stop that from happening. But one of the best features actually that I like about this bag is it has a chain inside here, which you can pop through the other side like so. And then it basically cinches the sides of the bag in, just making it a little bit smaller and a slightly different shape. And this works, I think, really well on your shoulder. This could be used as a travel bag. That is how I'm seeing a lot of people use this bag. Or if you are out and about and picking up a few bits doing your shops, you can throw everything that you need in here and more. Christian Dior. I only have one bag from Dior in my collection. And again, this was quite a recent purchase. This was from the Autumn Winter 2022 collection. This is my mini size Dior book tote bag. And this is in the Jardin print. So it has all these beautiful like birds and flowers on here. Now I have wanted a book tote bag from Dior for the longest time. We have seen some big price increases on these bags from Dior but um, I didn't want because I've already got tote bags that are larger sizes like my Saint Laurent Reef Gorse that I've just shown you and I really liked when Dior brought this mini size out. A lot of people are saying you know these bags are like works of art. You buy them because they're works of art, not because they are super, super practical, because they aren't. And I can see exactly uh, what people mean by this. And this is a very beautiful bag. Surprisingly, even though it's quite a busy print, it does go with a lot in my wardrobe because it does feel still like quite a neutral color palette. Before we move on to Chanel and Louis Vuitton, then there is one other brand. And how could I forget about this beauty? This is my Lawn Green Mini Alexa bag from Mulberry. Look how beautiful, how bright this green is. I absolutely love it. I don't have any other, apart from my acid green Marc Jacobs, I don't have any of this kind of grass green in my collection. Honestly, I love it. So this one has silver hardware. It's not the easiest bag to get into. You do have to, these magnets are quite strong on the straps and you have to do undo the postman's lock. And then in here, I have a detachable crossbody slash shoulder strap. Now this is an all leather bag and I do feel like Mulberry at the minute are definitely bringing out like cooler styles, uh, brighter colours which I am loving. And to say that this currently retails in the UK at just under a thousand pounds for a full leather bag, you just don't really get that from the other luxury fashion houses. So I would definitely add another one of these to my collection, especially if you're looking to add a more seasonal or pop of colour that you're not too sure how much you are going to wear it. These are a great price. Louis Vuitton, let's do this. This is the brand that out of my entire collection, I have the most bags from. I'm gonna start here with my Odeon bag. So this is the Odeon PM bag in monogram canvas. This one features the black leather detail. I love this bag as an everyday bag. Honestly, I use this nonstop 
because it's just so practical to use. You can adjust this strap, so I mostly wear mine as a crossbody bag like this. You can get the MM size, which is the next size up. The best part about this bag though, you have this pocket on the front which has a magnetic closure, phone in here, anything that you need to grab quickly, amazing. And then to get into the bag, the zippers across the top and you can just access all of the bag here. If you are looking for a practical bag that is going to be super hard wearing, um, I cannot recommend the Odium bag from Louis Vuitton enough. This is one that took me a lifetime to find. The Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Uh, mine is a limited edition version from the 2011 Stephen Sprouse collaboration. So that is why we have these bright neon roses covering the canvas bag. Now this is actually one of my favourite prints that has ever been put on the Louis Vuitton canvas. It is actually really bright, but as like a summer tote bag, um, it is just the most beautiful, glorious bag. Now I don't actually use this bag that much anymore because I have tote bags that I prefer. Uh, the ones with more compartments, the one with crossbody straps, those are the ones that I find more usable. But um, for me, this is very much a collector's piece. I collect designer bags if you didn't know that already and this is just a piece that I cannot part with because it's just a piece of history. Another Louis Vuitton bag that is very much a collector's piece for me is my giant monogram Speedy. This is the Speedy 30. This again was a limited edition and this again is one of those bags that when people see it in the background of my videos I get so many messages saying please can I buy this bag. Um, but again, for me, this is a collector's piece. I don't know if I will ever part with it, even though I think I've taken this out the house about twice now. So I have here, um, from the Catagram collection, this little dog key charm. How cute is this? It reminds me of my Chihuahua Pablo. His tongue is always sticking out. This is the Bandalore version, so it does come with a detachable crossbody shoulder strap. Um, but I find this bag to be in a size 30. If you wear it crossbody, it's actually quite bulky. This is why I just don't really use this bag. It is more of a top handle bag, but I don't really like carrying bags around with a top handle all day. I find it just pulls on your body. I much prefer crossbody style, but there is something about this giant monogram print. We've got the reverse on the side that I love. More monogram here. We have the Keepall 45, and this is the one with black leather. Um, I ordered this directly from Louis Vuitton as a travel bag. Uh, these bags are so hard wearing because the coated canvas. Honestly, I've seen so many of these pre-loved that have been just through the mill and they still look really, really good. I went for the black leather so that it would look newer or longer. I just prefer black leather. It is less high maintenance than the Bruschetta leather. And this one does come with the detachable shoulder strap. So this is the 45. This is the smallest size of the Keepall family. Um, I have realized since using this that carrying any bag of this size for a long period of time is incredibly heavy and not something I, I like to do. So I actually prefer a little wheel case with wheels on the bottom and because I did use this to travel to Bali with. And even though it is like a great sized bag, I do actually prefer just the small cases. So I have debated selling this a few times, but I haven't had the heart to do it. Um, I still have not really used this bag that much, but for an overnight stay, maybe it'll come into its own. We have a theme going on here. Apparently I love the giant monogram print. Here we have the on the go tote bag from Louis Vuitton. And I really like this in the canvas because you can flip it one way and have the dark brown or flip it this way and have the kind of toffee colour, which I really, really like. Now I did used to use this bag a lot when I used to go to a workplace all the time. It would just fit my laptop inside. And the thing that I like about this tote, and I prefer this to the Neverfull tote bag. I've said this a few times here on this YouTube channel. You actually get these leather straps here. They can't be removed, so you do have to store them like inside of the bag when not in use, but you can wear it more comfortably as a shoulder bag, like so. This is the MM size. This does come in a larger size as well, GM, and also a smaller size, which I will show you now. And here we have the on the go in the PM size. This is the smallest size of the on the go tote bag. This, it doesn't come out on camera very well because these lights are so bright, 
and this bag is basically a mixture of pastel colours. This is from the Spring in the City collection from 2020, summer this year. And this is specifically the Sunrise Pastel colour. So we have the smaller LV on the side and the bigger print here. This one also comes with a detachable mint green strap here, which is fully adjustable and you can wear it as a shoulder bag like so, or you can also cross body it. Now, I recently went on holiday to Dubai for summer and honestly, I wore this bag all the time. It definitely gets some looks because it's just so beautiful, like the colours. This isn't usually my style of bag. I tend to gravitate towards more classic items. So I've actually surprised myself liking this one so much and how much I've actually used it since I've had it. The monogram does not stop there though. Here I have my Neo Noe bucket bag in the monogram with black leather. This bag, again, I don't think I will ever part with this bag because I absolutely love this style of bag. You can just throw it on your shoulder and this shape of bag is totally different to anything else in my collection. I think I prefer this style bag actually to the kind of normal more square shaped tote bags if you don't need to carry a laptop. Now this is great because it can fit a full size bottle of water in here. Let me show you quickly inside. So you have two big compartments and a zipper in the middle. So similar to the Prada double bag um, but a different shape. You can also quickly turn this into a cross body bag by simply undoing the popper on the strap like this. You could wear it as a shoulder or a cross body bag. I will say though, this is the only adjustment on five foot six again for reference, and it does sit really low down on the body. But because these, you can just clip them off, you can actually use a different strap on this. You can buy aftermarket ones as well if you want like a little top handle for it. But this, I highly recommend. I still love this bag. Because I have this bag hidden away in a box a lot, people do ask me, have I still got this bag in my collection? And I do. This is the Louis Vuitton monogram bum bag. Um, I got the World Tour version, so specifically this one has black leather. For the World Tour, they were slightly more expensive than the normal one, so this bum bag has now been discontinued from Louis Vuitton, but they are planning to bring a new one out, so if you are looking for one, hold off for that. But I think that'll be coming in 2023. I had to select a sticker, so this one has a padlock on the back, and you can wear it around the waist like a bum bag, but actually, I wear mine quite a lot just as a shoulder bag, and you can also adjust it and wear it as a crossbody bag as well. Because we have so many bags to go through, we are losing light, so we might need to turn these lights on. Ta-da! Okay, let's continue with the next Louis Vuitton bag. Oh my gosh, guys, wow, what a video. Um, this is my Louis Vuitton Lock Me mini backpack. Um, I used to have the Palm Springs mini backpack, but I decided to uh, get rid of that because I had the old version of it and I didn't like the zipper. I figured I would go for this because you do see a lot of the Palm Springs mini backpack around. So I don't believe you can buy this bag anymore from Louis Vuitton, or if you can, I don't think you can get it in this colorway. But it's great because you can wear it as a miniature backpack. It does come with straps and they're inside the bag at the moment. Or uh, you can use these hooks at the top here and you can attach a strap, I often use the strap from my Odeon bag. I attach it and then wear it as a cross body bag. Now for my newest addition to my Louis Vuitton collection and actually probably one of my favorite Louis Vuitton bags. You might have seen the unboxing recently here on my channel this year. This is the new Lock Me Ever mini bag. So the Lock Me bag has been around for a while now, but the mini is a brand new size. It was literally released a few weeks ago. And I got mine in the colour Grige, which is like a grey beige, so very much a neutral. It also comes in black and pink. But oh my gosh, this colour with the gold hardware is actually incredible. The best part about this bag, I think, is the strap, the way that the leather is woven into the chain. I love it. So it's part of my Lock Me family here, the backpack and the mini lock me satchel style bag but i would say in terms of shape this one's actually an easier bag to use and grab everything inside and just to show you quickly you can wear this bag on the crook of your arm like so or you can take the detachable crossbody strap you can wear it as a shoulder bag like this or crossbody it like this again five foot six for reference you cannot change um, you cannot alter or adjust this chain strap but I feel like it sits perfectly for my height. Not too low, but not too high either. And the perfect height 
to easily access the bag. And last, but definitely not least, my two Louis Vuitton Cappy Seams bag. I have had this bag in all the sizes and I have settled on the fact that I love the mini size the most. So I have the mini here in the scarlet red with gold hardware. And here I have the mini. This is in the black leather with the python handle and flap and gold hardware. Now I love these bags. I think they are so adorable, but they definitely aren't the most practical bag, okay? Because the flap opening here, it does get a bit faffy, especially being a smaller bag. You've got compartments, which actually in a small bag isn't the most useful because it has this flap in the middle. So you can only get quite thin items in this bag. But for me, the Capucine bag, I know is not the most practical. It also comes with a thick leather crossbody strap, which I don't really like. I do just think the Capucine's bags in general are just the most beautiful bags. And I would definitely like to add a few more to my collection. Easily one of my favorite bags from Chanel and also most practical, which I rave about all the time here on this YouTube channel, the Business Affinity. I love this bag so much. I have it in black caviar here with champagne gold hardware. And here I have a beautiful pastel pink version of the bag. I got this in summer. I got this last year in 2021, the black version. But the pink, it is a light pink. Um, I do have to be wary of color transfer. The black one for me, um, I definitely use quite a lot more just because it's a lot easier to use. You grab it and you go. Um, I really like the top handle. You do have a pocket on the back, very useful. Although on this mini size, you definitely can't. You can get your phone in here, but it has to sit the other way around. And then you can get into the bag really easily with the turn lock closure and just one nice big compartment there. And you've also got another zipper compartment to keep other things more secure, like a card holder for example. For a more edgy look, however, I have the Chanel 19 bag here. I have two of them. So I have the small size. This is in the 19p caramel, which was a very popular and hard to find color of this bag. I really like it because at the time when I got this, I think it was late last year that I got this one actually. I didn't have any bags in my collection of this color. Now I do have my YSL Lulu, but I would say this is more orange. Whereas this is more like terracotta and that being suede and this being leather, the color just looks different anyway. And then here I have it in the large size, so the next size up. And this is in a black tweed with the mixed metal hardware. Um, I love that this is in like a black tweed. It is like a textured fabric. So in winter especially, there is just something about a fabric. I feel they just look a bit more cozy. They tend to go, I think, more with autumn winter outfits. Now I will say the 19 bag, because of all the hardware that is on this bag, they aren't lightweight, like they are quite heavy. Um, so for me, when I do take this one out, especially the large size, I do find uh, my shoulder will hurt by the end of the day if I'm carrying it around shopping. Uh, so I do try to limit the use of this one to trips where I'm definitely not walking around for too long. The small size is a little bit better, obviously being a, a smaller size. But actually, in terms of the size of these bags, the small size, even though it looks like quite a big bag, I would say it's actually quite small inside. So this one is actually more practical. Next is a Chanel bag that I didn't think I would ever get the chance to add to my collection because resale prices of them are through the roof. But I found this bargain on eBay and this is the Chanel Vintage Square in patent leather. Now, at first, I didn't know if I wanted this bag in the patent leather. I did want it in the lambskin, but it was such a good price that I just could not turn it down. I have had it authenticated a few times and it's come back all good. These vintage versions have 24 karat gold plated hardware. Chanel bags do not come with gold plated hardware anymore, even though they are significantly more expensive. And I very nearly passed up the chance to own this bag, again, because it's patent. But I'm so glad I didn't because I absolutely love it. Now, it does get fingerprints on it quite easily. I do have to keep wiping the bag down. But in terms of size, we have a huge pocket on the back here, suitable for a mobile phone and other documents. And I really love the size of this bag. I can get all my everyday essentials and more in here. I currently have it stuffed so that it keeps its shape. We don't have a top handle for this bag, but you can shoulder it like so, or you can crossbody it. And I think again, it sits at the most perfect height here. It's quite a big bag. We have got quite a big logo on the front, 
but I absolutely love it. Now for my most expensive designer bag to date in my entire collection. My Chanel Trendy CC. This is in black lambskin leather with champagne gold hardware. We have the Chanel plate on the top here. Now granted, I have only taken this bag out of the house once now and um, I have kept the plastic on the top plate for now I do need to get some actual hardware protectors for it as a top handle bag this is just perfect like such a big top handle and then you can shoulder it with the longer strap and you can also cross body it although it being a slightly bigger bag with this big top handle I wouldn't say cross bodying it is the most comfortable way to wear the Chanel trendy wow what a video the final three bags which are all the same bag but different. This is my Chanel boy bag collection. All of my three boy bags here are in the old medium size. It is my favorite size of this bag. And the boy bag for me is not the most practical bag by any stretch of the imagination. I find this bag quite hard to get into, but there's something about its presence, its chunky chain that I just absolutely adore. So here is my gray caviar leather with antique gold hardware and then my other two boy bags this is my pearl boy bag oh my gosh with shiny gold hardware look at how beautiful this bag is this bag feels so special i absolutely love using it and this one as well this is my black fur boy bag i got this one pre-loved and it has antique gold hardware this is a very special piece from Chanel. I've used both of these bags when I'm having like an evening out, a really nice meal out, I'm feeling very safe, I'm with family and friends. These are the two that I gravitate towards the most. I promised at the start of the video that I would reveal my most used, least used, and my most favorite bag out of my collection. So my most used bag out of my collection has to be my Givenchy, let me turn it around, here we go, Antigona in the soft, black smooth leather with the silver hardware. Um, this, I didn't think I would use this as much as I do, but because we don't have like big logos on here, we have the security of the zip across the top as well. And just this great like crossbody shoulder strap and the top handles. For me, this being at the price point it's at as well, it's definitely not, I don't think as expensive as some Louis Vuitton bags or some Chanel bags. And yeah, this is the bag that I've just gravitated towards and I literally use this bag pretty much every single day now. My least used bag, actually there's two here that I definitely, I just never use anymore and have hardly ever used anyway. Um, my Infinity Bucket Bag by Givenchy. This is a really heavy bag, like I've already said. And also my Prada Cahia bag. Even though I love this bag um, and I definitely, I like the look of it. I know not everyone does. Um, but for me, um, I definitely see this because it's quite heavy as more of an evening bag. But I have quite a few evening bags in my collection. I've got my Saint Laurent, I've got my Chanel's, and those are the bags that I gravitate towards more. So this one just never really gets to see the light of day. My most favourite bag in my collection hasn't changed since the last collection video that I did. It is, of course, my Pearl Chanel boy bag. Not the most practical, but it is just so beautiful. It has such a presence. Although a close second is actually my newest bag from Louis Vuitton, the Lock Me. You know when you just open something and it just looks so perfect? Like for me, this bag in so many ways, especially with the chain detail, is amazing. A much lower price point than the Chanel Boy bag as well. Um, but as like the Chanel Boy, I would say is my favorite evening bag. And then in terms of like an everyday bag, this Lock Me is definitely up there. Wow, what a video. My entire designer bag collection of 39 bags, as mentioned, so that you can shop this video super easily. I will pop links in the description box down below. And thank you so much to Adil for sponsoring today's video. Again, linked down below so that you can shop their range of solid gold jewelry and sustainable lab grown diamonds. And if you aren't already, make sure you sign up to their newsletter so you can be the first to find out about any sales, discounts, and newly released jewelry pieces. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite and least favorite pieces from my collection are. I would love to hear from you, but make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you and over here. Nine designer bags that I wish I'd have purchased sooner. Enjoy.